If you own this calculator, you probably already know about the stack. That's probably one of the reasons why you bought it in the first place. But I do think that it helps to really understand what's on the keyboard if you understand what's going on with the stack. So the stack, there are four registers, four basic registers in the HP calculator. So you have your X register, which is always what is displayed here. Then you have internally a Y register, a Z register, and a T register. So first I'm going to enter in a four, and right now that is in the X register. If I hit enter, now I have a four in the Y register and a four in the X register. And I can use the X and Y swap button right here to swap in and out. That's the same number right now, so we just see a four. Now if I enter in a three, now I have a three in the X register, a Y in the uh, or a 4 in the Y register, and if I swap those back and forth, now I should see the 3 and the 4 swap back. Enter in a 2, and I've just pushed that up further. I've now got a 2 in the X register, 3 in the Y, and 4 in the Z. I can swap the 2 and the 3 back and forth. Enter in a 1, and now I've got what resembles this configuration right here. So I have a 1, a 2, a 3, and a 4. Now if I start rolling that stack around, I can use the R down button here to roll it around, and I should see a 2 now, and this 1 has been bumped up to the top. So now the 2 is in the X position, the 3 is in the Y position, the 4 is in the Z position, and the 1 is in the T. And I can continue rolling those around, and they just replace one another, scrolling in a loop. You can go the other way by doing R up. Now all of these keys that you see here, this Y and X, uh, this E to the X, this Y to the X, this 1 over X, those all refer to the register itself. So for example, if I roll down here and I do 1 over X, it takes what's in the X register and it does the reciprocal of that. So it gives me 0.5. I'll take the reciprocal again. If I do Y to the X, Remember, I've got, in my Y register, I've got a 3 is above this 2. So that'll be 3 to what's in the X register, so 3 squared. So hit that button, and I get 3 squared, which is 9. E to the X, that'll take the natural number E to the exponent that you saw uh, there, 9. Square root of X, that takes the square root of what's in the X register. And similar with these things that you see up here. You have 10 to the x, so that's 10 to what's in the x register. You have the xth root of y. So if I have uh, 9 and I want to find the square root of it, I can do shift and find that the square root of y, or square root of 9, is 3. But I can do that for any number. It doesn't have to be a square root. And this is x factorial. So if I do the factorial, that should be 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So that's how these x's and y's are laid out on the keyboard. They have to do with the register. So just understanding that really helps in understanding what's going on in the keyboard. Uh, one other thing here, you can swap in and out of the rec x register to memory. So if I wanted to store that 6, I can store that 6 or swap with what's ever in my A register. Now I don't have anything in my A register, so it'll take the zero that's in there and put it into uh, the X register, and it's stored, just let me recall, so it's stored in the A, the number six. Now if I take zero and I swap that with what's in the X register, with what's in the A register, then it brings that 6 back, and now it puts 0 in the A. So I recall A, and it's now 0.